Well, hello there, and welcome to episode 3 of Edigmatica 6. Okay, and here we are, episode number 3. So between episodes, guys, uh, I've done a few little bits and pieces. Uh, nothing too progressive. Uh, this is probably the, the biggest thing that I've done, um, like mod pack wise, is just installed ourselves a, a pulverizer and a redstone furnace. That will help. I did do a couple of upgrades on our um, mining gadget after the last episode as well. So we've got uh, maxed out range. We now have our magnet um efficiency five and our three by three uh and silk touch i'm not sure if we finished that last time either so that that's unreal i'll um take you guys down in the mine in a moment and show you the mess that that makes and because of that i managed to get ourselves a few more resources as you can see so a fair bit of iron which is going to be needed for what we're going to be working on this episode and our redstone is no longer an issue and you can see I've got a fair bit of nether quartz here. I managed to acquire all of that nether quartz without even going to the nether, which was um, very handy. So I don't know if you guys remember back in episode one, but we actually discovered this um, basalt beach that was full of nether quartz. So I spent a bit of time with um, the fortune turned on on the mining gadget and just um, made my way around this beach and just harvested all of that nether quartz and that was the result which was fantastic so that's that's about it in here so i've been pretty busy out here just trying to make the place look a little prettier now i'm not 100 percent sold on it yet let's try to go with a sort of overgrown garden sort of look obviously it's a bit hard to see how it fits in with um the, the fact this is all bare still because we're still working in this direction and i'm not sure if all the colors actually fit with the slate um but you know it's it's a start we'll, we'll yeah <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go from here uh the next thing i did is well cleaned this area up and i'm actually very happy with the way this has turned out um looks in, in my opinion anyway i i think it looks great so I used one of the doors from um, Industrial Decor, which is uh, the rusty iron door, which is pretty cool, very easy to make. Um, everything from down here is exactly the same. Yeah, just spruced it up a little bit, minecart, a few hedges, just gave it that sort of like overgrown look. And if we head down here, I will show you the results of how crazy this mining laser is. Check this out. Yeah, so it... Um, it got a little out of hand so uh, yeah <laughs> and down here so i've got two layers uh up there at level 30 oh this is where the nether portal is uh level th level 30 we get more iron and osmium and all that and obviously down here we get tons of gold tons of redstone and this is where we find our diamonds okay guys so let's crack on to the episode hey so today we're going to look at getting ourselves into refined storage uh, so refined storage is a very powerful mod. It is sort of a staple if you're going to be playing um, any form of modded Minecraft because your ability to store all of your items in chests just gets out of hand really quickly. Especially if you start using quarries and you're bringing in thousands of items or laser drills or all that sort of stuff, environmental tech, it just it gets out of hand really quick and you need a very convenient way to store items. And that's what refined storage is. Basically... Um, you can put all of your items onto a disk and then stick that into the disk drive and all your items are then stored in a single block. It is fantastic. Uh, so what we're gonna need to do to get into this today is we're gonna have to make ourselves a controller. So a controller is what um, brings the power from your network and then transfers it into your um, refined storage network. We're gonna need ourselves a grid. Uh, we're gonna actually upgrade that grid into a crafting grid because that's kind of just a, a must have. Crafting grid is fairly easy. It's just grab your grid and just a processor and a um a workbench, crafting table. Sorry, uh, and that that'll give you the the ability to craft straight out of your window. And then we're also going to need ourselves a disk drive, which is the um, the the housing where we stick our actual disks. And then we're going to have to create ourselves a disk. So today we're going to look at trying to get to sixteen k. It just depends on 
where we're sitting as far as um, resources. I'm not sure if I've got enough slime. Uh, keep, all of these um, processes require this um, process binding and it requires slimes. And I'm not sure if I've got enough slimes on me. I, mean, I think I've only got like eight. So we'll see, see where that gets us for now. We may have to go out and find some more slimes. Uh, but then the goal is to, yeah, get ourselves up to a 16k storage drive. We'd probably be okay with four if that's as far as we get, but 16's there, the goal. So with these, um, fairly simple. You just create up the, um, the, the pattern that'll give you your 1k storage part. So if you want to create a 4k, you're going to need three 1ks. If you're going to create a 16k, you then need um, three 4k. And then if you want to create a 64k drive, there's a lot of k's going on here you need um, three of the 16K parts and it goes on. And there is, uh, I'm not sure if it's in this pack, we'll have a look after. There is some add-on mods as well that allow you to go up to it's just absolute stupid amounts per disc. It is, it's insane. Uh, some of them are like actually 64 megabyte, not 64 kilobyte. Um, and it, it is, it is an insane amount <laughs> of storage uh, for a, for what it is, uh, for one disc that you can put in one block, which is crazy. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need to do, like I said, is get ourselves a controller. Now, if we're gonna get into the controller, there's a few things that we, well, into refined storage in general, there's a few things we need, and quartz enriched iron is a big one. So that is just um, iron and quartz in the crafting table. That'll get us our um, quartz enriched iron. We're also going to need, let's have a look. Go back here. Going to need silicon, which is nether quartz that we uh, we cook up in a furnace. So any any type of furnace. So we'll chuck some of that in the redstone furnace in a sec. Uh, and then we're going to need our advanced processor. Now advanced processor is a raw advanced processor that we just craft, and then um, we cook that up in the furnace. And so that's what we've got up here. So we've got our basic processor, which is just the the processing goo. Um, an iron ingot, redstone, silicon. This bad boy is just swap out the iron with um, gold. And then this one is the same recipe just with diamonds. So I'll go and crack on, get a bunch of all of these things cooked up and ready to go. And then um, once all that's good to go, we'll cut back and uh, we'll actually start building some of this. Okay, and I think we've got everything cooked up and good to go so we can start cracking on with this. I've got... A few of the advanced uh, processors. We shouldn't need too many of those right away. And if we need to make some more, we've got a little bit more of the processing binding. Uh, some improved processors, some basic processors. I've just finished cooking up some stone. So this was taking way too long. So I went and um, put together a couple of the um, amplifiers for this, so the augments. So um, thermal has uh, these upgrades. So all of the machines have the ability to put augmentations in uh, and they, they do all sorts of different things. So depending on the machine, you can have different outputs, uh, all that sort of thing. Increase the, um, the amount of power storage that it has, the efficiency for the power so that each time it cooks something, it actually uses less power. I always just slap in a bunch of these. Um, it increases the amount of um, output like the process speed uh, but it uses more RF and so that's no issue for us right now and they're, they're nice and easy um, all I had to do was make some electrum um, and smash out some plates quick and easy so where are we at now all right let's take a look you'll probably notice that I've got the wrench in my, um, in my inventory so I went to make the wrench and then I realized uh, we can actually get it from a quest. So I went and accepted the very first quest for this um, and got ourselves a wrench. So we're going to need our controller. So let's crack on and build one of those. So we're going to need the um, uh, machine casing, which is just our quartz and our stone. Let's grab one of those. Actually, we're going to need more than one of those. We'll grab two for now. Casing and bam. And there's our controller, which is awesome. And we can dye this as well. So it doesn't have to be blue. We can make this orange. We can make this whatever color we want. Uh, I usually just make it orange. If you can't tell, I've got a bit of a thing for orange. So next up, we'll make our disk drive. This one's going to be nice and easy. We're going to need a chest. We've got chests in here. Brilliant. So 
So we'll go disk drive and bam, is that disk drive. And next up will be our crafting grid is what we're gonna make. So we're gonna start off with a grid. So this has a couple of other items that we haven't looked at yet. So we've got a destruction core and a construction core. Um, so the construction core is just our basic uh, processor and some glowstone and oops, get out of that. And the destruction core is um, basic processor and nether quartz. And I think we've got we've got two glowstone. And I got that from underneath a um, a waystone when I broke one at the village. Uh, I've been to the nether a few times now. Uh, I went on a massive adventure through the nether yesterday uh, to find a fortress and. I didn't think to grab any glowstone while we are in there. <laughs> of course. So, construction core, get nice and simple, and construction core, of course we don't have any quartz on us, so there we go. Our inventory is an absolute trash can right now. Grab that, and bam. And give us grid, oop, nope. Oh, we need another casing, that's easy. Okay, now give us grid. Um, bam, that is done. And, ooh, I don't know how the quests work with this, so we should probably actually claim some of these quests while we're at it. So what do we get here? Uh, oh, so we need to make cable. So cable's easy to make, and that'll give us 16 cables. So should we do that? Let's do that. I know some of the the quest lines for um, in some of like in all the mod six for instance, if you don't claim the quest at that point, um, so if, say we made a grid now and then we turn it to a crafting grid, it won't count because we haven't claimed the quest as a grid before we turned it into a crafting grid. I don't know if this is the same, but we don't want to miss out on quest rewards, right? So one of those task complete, and then yeah, so that unlocked a couple, so we should actually be okay. Me 16 of those bad boys. Disk drives, so we need to make storage disk. Oh, so we actually need to make the storage disk itself. So what do we get? Refined storage loot box and a couple of storage housings. Uh, that's pretty good. More cables for that bad boy. And refined storage loot box. That's cool. I don't I don't know what's in these things. I guess these are like um loot bags. We've got a couple uh, in the thermal stuff here to uh, open as well. So we'll have a look at all of them at once. Ooh, and storage, what do we got here? We got another one here as well. Miner's Delight. Uh, we'll grab that afterwards because our inventory is a mess right now. Uh, you can see off camera too, I went through the backpacks. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, I haven't showed you guys that. Check this bad boy out. It's insane. We'll delve a little bit more into this later because you've got upgrades and yeah, it's really cool. Okay, so we've got our controller, we've got our disk drive, and we've got our grid. Now we need to turn that grid into a crafting grid, and that is as simple as a advanced processor and the workbench, and bam. And this thing is fantastic. So now we can actually um, do all our crafting, our, our three by three crafting in there and draw the items straight from the system. It is, yeah, it's very, very handy. Probably won't need all these soon. So the next thing we're going to have to look at is getting ourselves our disk drive. So we want to get four up to the 16 if we can. How many of these can we make? Oh yeah. We need 12 of these. Go. <laughs> Ow. Uh, our inventory is a mess. Three. Okay, I misjudged how many of these. How many we were gonna need? Of course I did. And 16 K drive. Bam, and a storage housing. So we've made the part. Now we need to stick that part into a storage housing. Um, we may as well make two of these cause we just, we're gonna have ourselves a 16 K drive. And we're gonna have ourselves a 4K drive because I made one extra by accident. Bam. All right, so that's all the parts we need to, we, we have a, uh, a storage system now. So uh, let's have a look at these quests before we get too deep. Uh, nope, refined storage. 
it's got the housing and then hopefully claim this stuff going everywhere grid ah uh, yeah see it did so i'll have to make a another grid damn it that's okay so it doesn't recognize the fact that we've made the grid that's okay that's okay what did that just give us i think it gave us some more tables maybe we've got another housing storage housings i think that's okay all right so we're gonna stick this bad boy in here so let's move the wall like so and we're gonna have to run power in here so we're gonna want to run our power into the bottom there you know what we can you remove this we gotta move through safely and i don't have cables so don't so i've been having some issues with um all of a sudden it says my machines are out of power and all i have to do is come back here and break this cable and then reattach it and then everything starts working through so i don't know if it's a, a glitch with the energy cell or it's a glitch with these or the two mods not working together nicely um, but look, that's all temporary for now anyway. Oh, give me 64 of these. <laughs> Victoria is an absolute trash can. Oh, it's glorious. It makes me twitch. I hate it so much. Um, give one more there. I'll just stick you up there. I don't think anything can spawn once we've got these in, but... You know, knowing my, my luck, I'll end up with a creeper inside of our walls. Like so. Like so. And like that. And then, that's all we need is to power this bad boy. So we stick that on there. And bam, it has power. We'll put our crafting grid like that. And we'll grab our disk drive. Um, there we go and that thing has power too now you open that up and you have your disk bays here and all you have to do is we'll chuck in our 16 and our 4 and we have currently have 20k's worth of um, storage and if you look in here all we have to do is just dump stuff in and it tells us what we've got so we can actually just whoop, throw all of this in there we have a few options down the side so your redstone display normal no craftables only craftables so that's when we get all our auto crafting set up we can actually have craftables in here with as normal um sorting descending or ascending so from smallest to largest or largest to smallest i always go largest i like to see at the top the most items we've got sorting type quantity by name id if that's what you're into uh, last modified um, quantity search box normal uh, auto select and JEI is synchronized that's what I like to have so if we go over here and we go um, and find as we're typing it into our crafting grid it's also bringing up um, it all in uh, JEI which is very very handy and then um, size you can shrink that down you can make it bigger bigger yeah whatever whatever you you like to have a look at i like to have a big like this and then of course we've got the auto crafting down here so like i said we can go like that stone bricks and because we've got 57 in there i could shift click that now and convert all 57 of those into these stone bricks so as you can see the stone is going down as i click them and then we have them in there very handy very cool so the next thing i guess is going to be uh getting all of this mess into our storage housing. So I'm gonna crack on and dump all of those goods in there and then we'll be right back. Okay, so here we are guys. Uh, everything is out of our chests. As you can see, all the chests are empty and bam, all of our stuff's been moved into our, um, into our refined storage system, which is absolutely amazing. We can get rid of this janky uh, vanilla looking wall uh, we better punch through there and actually extend the base a little bit uh, open up a little bit of room to um, do some other stuff and things but 
we've got one last bit that we need to start looking at because this is all good and well storing everything but this we can take a little bit further and we can use it to auto craft so we will eventually have uh, as many of these machines all hooked up for auto crafting as possible but in the meantime let's just get some basic auto crafting set up so that when it comes to building things for their refined storage system we can get it to just auto cook there's a few things we're going to need for this uh one is a crafter so we're going to craft up so a crafter is just our um, advanced circuits the quartz iron a machine casing uh construction and destruction core grab one of those and we're out of advanced processes of course we are uh where are we we'll this oh yeah eight Give us eight of those. Chuck that into there. Voila, voila. Uh, oh, we've got the achievement for auto crafting. I'm like, hang on, we've already made advanced processes. We'll just cook a couple of these up. You see how much faster it is with these augments in here. Alrighty, we'll throw these back in here. And this is good. You just flick it back into the system and bam. Oh, and they do stack. This is great. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need is a pattern grid. So what the pattern grid is used for is where we actually put the the um the, the plans for what we need to auto craft into a pattern, and then that goes into our crafter. So what are we missing here? So we're going to need blank pattern, and we probably should make ourselves a couple of those. And of course, we're out of glass, so grab a stack of sand. <laughs> Chuck that in there. Very, very well organized. That's what happens when I have um, pauses between segments of the episodes. All right, so we'll let that cook up for the time being. And we should be able to throw together. So I had to make a grid, another grid up earlier um, so that we could progress in the um, questing. So we've got a spare grid in here. Grab that. Excellent. More, more, more uh, quests to look at. So we've got our, um, our pattern grid and we're going to want our crafting monitor, which is going to mean we're missing glass. So the pattern, the, the crafting monitor will do exactly what it sounds like. It'll um, allow you to see what is going on in the, um, the process. So if, say you've got something that's got 50 steps in it, it will tell you where it's at in that 50 steps and if something's missing or what it's actually in the, what it's doing and why, why it's processing and what's being bogged down and yeah, it's good. So we'll grab one of those and then we're going to grab ourselves an interface. So there is, there's two different ways that we, well there's more than two different ways, but there's, there's the two easiest ways to um, pipe things in and out of a machine with refined storage is to use your importers and exporters. So you're importing into the system, you're exporting out of the system or exporting in one of the two. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're importing into your system and you're exporting out. Uh, so you just stick one of these either side of the machine or you make yourself a interface like we're going to. And then look at us go with the quest. And then we can actually use the interface to pull and push items in and out of the system from one side. So again, for me, it's just all about the aesthetics. <laughs> That's basically what it comes down to. Um, what we'll do is we'll get rid of you. We'll get rid of you. And another good thing with these, um, oh, sorry guys. Another good thing with all this refined storage stuff is it works by just being connected to another machine so we don't have to actually run um any cables between them so that's our crafting monitor and this is our crafting grid now this looks very similar um to our crafting grid but this is our pattern grid sorry it looks very similar so what we do is we put our blank patterns in here and we've got get rid of exact we've got that and we've got processing so if we we wanted to say make a pattern for stone bricks we would do that this is just a um, crafting pattern but if we had a processing pattern where we say we needed um, what we got uh, 
this to go in and then that to come out. So a log is going to go into the furnace and uh, charcoal is going to come out of the furnace. And then that is the process because it's a processing pattern. Pretty simple. But that's not what we're looking for. So what we're gonna do is just try to automate, let's say our three um, processes to start with. So we will grab um, shift, how do we, there we go, right click. Go like that. You can see the patterns there, makes that, put that down. And then we want this bad boy. Gonna make that and then our diamond processor or the advanced processor like that now if we hold shift you can actually see that the patterns change so you can get a bit of a visual representation of what's going on and you can see what that um, is actually involved so if you accidentally if something's not working you can um, hold down shift and go over your pattern and actually have a look and see oh hang on instead of saying silicon it says some other kind of silicon for instance and sometimes that does happen um the old dictionary gets a little uh, upset or if you've got exact clicked on sometimes that gets it wrong as well and what we might do is make the patterns the pattern uh pattern like this that way we can autograph some more patterns up now let's grab some more glass gets over here please so we check the glass in, we'll craft ourselves up a couple more patterns, just for the time being. That will do. Like that. Now, where can we stick these? So, what we will do is for the time being, this is where our crafters come, in, come into play. So, whoop. so, your crafters can be used in two ways. Um, we can simply just drop these items into here and then we come to the crafting window we go to display no craftables craftables only and you can see that it's those items come in here so if we want to make a raw processor let's say we want to make one or uh, two two raw processors press start this is telling us all the items we need bam and now the crafting as it now it's gone out of here because we've got craftables only um, but if we come into here we go to what is this one called uh, improved and there's two so the next step with this would be auto crafting these things up but then cooking them so those patterns are going to be process patterns if we go like this so one raw processor will give us a basic processor we'll grab that like so, and then same with this one, and then same with this bad boy. Now we can't just stick these in there and expect it to cook for us because that's not telling us it's not it doesn't know where the machine is. So what we're going to do is get rid of that, get rid of that. We're going to need cables. So again, this is where, if you weren't trying to make it look as neat, and I'm sure there are other ways to make this work and, and look neat, but you can actually connect uh, the importers and exporters in, in and out. But we're gonna, like this, and that is the wrong, wrong way anyway. Give us our wrench. Refined storage wrench. You can go back in there. You actually no, I need that back. Yeah, don't be don't be holding a wrench in your hand when you're clicking on things. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't work. So these we want like that. So the top part. So this this little part here with the dot that needs to be facing into the machine if you plan on using it with a machine. So we go like that. We can now drop these in like so and now we need to connect these two machines up we will 
the easiest way we can do that. It's probably just going to be dig down below here, right? Like I said, it's going to be a little janky behind the scenes, but as long as as long as it looks okay um, <laughs> from our room, I don't I don't mind. We'll run the cables through under the floor here. Oh, look at that delicious iron. Um, where do we want to go? This way. Oh no, we do want to go this way. My bad. Oh. Nope, this way. So those logs are the, the floor out the front. Um, I thought they were feeding that into the back, so what we would do here. Go like this. Get that out. Grab that. We run our cables, our power, straight into the back like that. So this retained a little bit of power as well, as you saw. And then from here, we go like this. Just like this. So these these are the um, the data cables, basically. The, these um, this is where how everything gets transferred around. And like that, and you can see now it's lit up, which is very cool. You know it's got power. That's um, yeah one of the good things about refined storage is that all of its machines just um, power themselves, and so the with the cable that is mind you so the cable the data um your items your fluids your power the whole lot is just transmitted through one pipe which is very handy we didn't need to do that we could just do this um, like that and then if we go to configure so we want the top to be in and out, uh, I think. So, <laughs> it is. It's been. It's been a hot minute since I've um, since I've done this myself. So let's go through here and uh, punch a hole through here. It's fine. We need doors. So if we go into crafting now, we have the ability to craft these. So we want. Um, a raw processor, say. Let's have a look and see what we've got in the way of raw. Let's take those out. So, if this works, if we want a raw, if we want a improved processor, if we go say create, actually, let's make sure there's none in the system first. Um, press. Yeah, so there's none, none in the system. So we can craft from here if there wasn't any, but we're going to do it in this window. Shits and gigs. But here, craft me two, start. So this is saying this is what it needs because it's got to make the items first. Then once it's crafted up the raw improved processor, then it'll it'll cook it. We look here, maybe, no. What have I done wrong? On from the bottom. Right, so let's have a let's do that again. Let's just make sure that we let's chuck all those back in there. Uh, let's go processor. Let's grab the um, advanced processors out. Let's craft ourselves up three of those. Missing is that. Okay, so let's hopefully we've got enough for one. Yep. We seen it kick on. Kicks back out. Go back into here, uh, processor, and there it is. There we go. We've got that automated. Pretty good, hey? Pretty good, pretty good. And um, as you can imagine, this is just the start. So this is very, very, very basic. We can do all sorts of, all sorts of crazy things with this. A little bit later on, we close it up like that. We close this bad boy up I like this. And Bob's your aunt. So the reason I like to use the the interface uh, that way we're just pulling pulling in and out um, from the interface and we don't need to 
like we can have a row of interfaces and we can have a row of our crafters and we can still have our power coming in from one way and we can have the um the interfaces linked from the other side and everything's good it looks it looks neat it looks tidy it will once all the walls are full of machines but yeah um so there's one other thing i know we were talking about earlier so about uh some of the add-on mob mods for this that um make refined storage even crazier so now that we're looking at our crafter we have a look we're pretty limited to the amount of space that we've got and um volume of of um patterns that we can put in so if we if we were going to use just these crafters we would need like walls and walls of these bad boys so that's where extra storage comes in um, so this is where we've got we can bigger disk drives so we can go up to the the 16k 16384 k uh we have advanced um importers and exporters so that doubles the amount of uh filtered space you've got in those which is very handy and the ones we're excited about is the crafters you got iron gold diamond and netherite and the netherite has 81 spaces and its base speed is 125 times crafting speed um, so we will probably get ourselves up to diamond fairly quickly for uh, for a couple of these uh we'll probably fill out four of these with diamonds if we can just get ourselves a bit of pattern pattern space uh and then once we start getting quarries absolutely cranking um and ore generation we'll we'll see if we can get ourselves all the way up to one of these which is going to be broken i've only done it like a couple of times i've never actually needed to go that high before but i feel we're going to tear this world apart cool so just to recap we've got our um refined storage system in place we've got a basic auto crafting setup which we will obviously expand on um, which is pretty cool and now we've got some more room so before i go what we might do is quickly go and have a look at all these quests shall we what have we got here miners delight thank you uh refined storage so we have made these give me that what we got here some more cables the pattern oh refined storage loot box what do we get I don't, I don't know. I'm just opening everything and we'll see what's in our inventory after this, shall we? We get two loot boxes. Uh, another loot box. What do we got in here? Another loot box. I, I'm guessing these are like loot bags, but not. An interface. Fantastic. So you make an interface, you get an interface. That's actually handy. Uh, cool. So that's that. And there was the thermal series gear as well. So... We get Scavenger's Delight, mm -hmm. and Rare Thermal, ooh, Rare, that we've got in there, hey? Uh, another Rare, and this bad boy, another Rare. Okay, so I think that might be all of the quests. Let's see what garbage we've got in our inventory, shall we? Few ores, that's handy, that is definitely handy. Ooh, this is, that is fantastic. A reinforced integrated component. So I was just looking at these, which is great. Uh, give me two seconds and we'll, we'll get into that a little bit more. Uh, we've got some books. That's uh, processing binding. That's actually not, not a bad thing at all. Uh, hardened glass isn't bad at all. Reinforced chest. Uh, eh, okay. Um, rubber. These emerald chunks are pretty good. You can turn them back into ore and then um, uh, we can fortune them. But anyway, so this, what it will do is we can grab out one of, say, these and chuck this in there. And as you can see, the, the amount of power that it, its internal power storage just um, went up massive amounts. So improve, improves the base attributes um, and then other augments may uh, be more effective as a result. So can we got, let's chuck osmium. See how fast it's cooking up? We take that out. Not too bad. Chuck that in. Crazy. And we're out of power because I've got to go break that cable again. 
So these things are great. Uh, that is that is fantastic. And it goes up one more, which will give us a, uh, a force times. But yeah. Okay, guys. So that's going to be it for the episode. Uh, so thank you so much once again for, uh, for popping along for this uh, little adventure of ours. Uh, we have our refined storage system in place, which is just awesome. Uh, and if you liked what you've seen, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, uh, hit the thumbs up, comment, you know, all that fun stuff. And I also, if you're interested, I stream over on Twitch. Uh, the links will be in the description below. But that's it for me. Thanks, guys. Take it easy.